Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at C Sharp WCF client server application using the TCP binding inside the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So, Windows Communication Foundation WCF is a framework for building service oriented applications. You can send data as asynchronous message from one service endpoint to another. A service endpoint can be part of a continuously available service hosted by IS or it can be a service hosted in an application. So an endpoint can be a client of, of a service that requests data from a service endpoint. The messages can be as simple as single character or a word sent as XML or as complex as a stream of binary data. So enough of all of this, so let's get to it then. So obviously to be able to get started with WCF application, you need to get it from, you need to install it from the Visual Studio installer. You can do so by going to the Visual Studio installer. So once you have the Visual Studio installer, click on the individual components and scroll down scroll down to so under the development activities you scroll down then you'll find the windows communication foundation check the box click on the download and install so once that bit is sorted out then we can come we can start with the creating a new project So the new project will be a console application .NET framework. So don't choose the .NET call, choose the .NET framework, right? Then you click on the next. So here, I'm just gonna call this um, WCF. And then the solution, I'm just gonna call it WCF. First, I, I mean, the solution will be WCF. The project name will be WCF.server for the start. So I'm just gonna make the solution just WCF. I'll click OK so so now we've got the project created so we're just going to quickly go inside the, um, the reference yeah so we add reference so we're just going to go inside uh, the pro I mean the share I mean assembly sorry assemblies so we're just going to scroll we're just going to look for system dot service model service model so this one is what we're looking for system.service model that will click ok so that as we can see here it's been added to the solution so what we do next is we're just going to create a very first we're going to add this attribute service contract which is under the system dot service model so now we can reference it from here you can add a using this yeah, so it should be fine. Otherwise, we're just going to sort that one out later on. So here. OK, so now we're just going to add this interface. So it's a public interface. And we're going to call this iMessage. service yeah so we decide here what we do is we're just gonna put um string array so we're just gonna say get messages yeah so we're just gonna leave it as it is here so the next bit is we're gonna create another one and before that we put this attribute service behavior service behavior and inside it we, we're going to put uh, the instance contest mode so we're going to set that to instance contest mode dot single
that single. So we're just going to leave it here. So then we're going to create this method as a public this service method for public class. So we can say message service and that inherits i i message service this um so here on top of the the get string we're going to put this attribute operation contract so this idea we will implement the interface so are we just going to say um, return new string so we're just going to say just gonna put something server one, server two, server three. That's all we're gonna do for here for now. So now we're just gonna start our WCF service inside the main. So what we do is just gonna put um, variable u uris is equal to a new URI so we put one inside here so the next bit is of course is a string we're going to name this address and this one will be net.tcp colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon the port number 6565 forward slash message service so this will be our service so we can say the i message service is equal to the new instance message message service So the next bit is we initialize the service host. So we're just gonna call this host. It's equal to the new instance of service host. So before we put the service host, we need to initialize the URIS. So this will be a new URI so we pass in the address so here URI put in the indexer 0 just to get the first so inside the service host constructor we're going to put in um, the host and then the URI uh, actually we're gonna put the message instead so the next bit is initialize our binding this will be a net TCP binding. So we just set the security mode to none. Okay, so we forgot one thing, the new. Okay, so the next bit is say the host dot add service endpoint so this will be type of 
our iMessage service then and our binding then an empty string so the next bit is actually we subscribe to the opened so that whenever the service is open we can we can we can pull our message right so inside here we could say console dot right line message service started so we can open the, the host then so host the open then we stop the console from closing by using the console that read line yeah so that's all that we've got for the service side so the next base we're just gonna quickly build it the client so we add a new project from the same side so we go add new project and it's still a console app so we're just gonna go next so we're just gonna say wcf dot client So now we've got this bit open. So what we do is just gonna split the screen. Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead so with a client. So first of all, we're just gonna add um we're just gonna copy the the contract only here. So we're just gonna copy this bit here and we paste it inside this inside here. Yeah, so that's all we're gonna need for this bit. So we come inside uh, the main. So here we're just gonna reference system.service, we add a reference to system.service model. So it's added so we get the error count now. So the first bit is obviously we're just gonna put some console the right line. Press any key to continue so what we just we're just gonna put um console the, the red line here the next bit is initialize a new variable this will be our URI this will be equal to um, we're just gonna copy the URI here this so we're just gonna put it here and the next bit is the net tcp binding so this will be our binding this will be equal to a new instance of the net tcp binding we set the security mode to none Then after that we initialize another variable, we call this variable channel. This will be equal to a new channel factory. So this will take the I message. I message service. Then we put inside a binding. So the next bit is another variable proxy and this will be channel dot create channel so we pass in the endpoint so we have to actually before the proxy we have to actually create a new variable endpoint yeah so it's a variable endpoint that will be equal to new 
and point address. So we pass in our URI. So inside the, the channel dot create channel, we put we put in our endpoint. So next is we check if we've got anything coming in. So we get a variable result. This will be equal to our proxy. So we check if it's not empty. Dot get message. So we check if the results. Check if the resource is not empty. Then we can say results dot results dot to list dot for each for each so P stands for the incoming string coming So we can say console.write line p for the test incoming test. Yeah, so that's all we're gonna do for here now. I hope I didn't take much time. So what I'm gonna do is we right click on the solution and set startup project and we select multiple startup projects. So we put all of these ones as a start. This as a start. So we apply changes and we go, okay, so we click on the start. So we've got the client and the server open. So as you can see here now, we've got this notification that we should allow for network. So we're just gonna allow this, yeah. So here, as you can see, so now we've got the message service started now. And then if we press on any key, we can just grab the, the results from the server. Okay, so that's one more thing. After here, I'm just gonna pause it. After here, there's one thing that I should have done here. Console.readline, so that to prevent it from closing. So I'm just gonna start again so now we've got the server server running now so gonna click on enter again so as you can see now we've got the, uh, the information returned from the server so as you can see it's not it's not really difficult so i'm just gonna leave it here and i hope you can explore further yourself so once again if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up so have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are Peace.